LOC and ILOC methods are used in slicing of data. They are used in filtering the data according to some conditions. There is only one slight difference between the two methods. They are used for subsetting rows. For LOC, we have to use the index label. So for example, we have to give the column name instead of the column number. And in ILOC, you will see we have this I, I stand for index. So here we have to give the column number instead of the column name. So that is the di difference between the two. There is only a slight difference. And this is the syntax for LOC and ILOC. If you see here, so the syntax is same. We have to give the row and then column. For LOC, we have to give the column name. And for ILOC, we have to give the column number. Now let us see with an example. I'll import pandas as pd. I'll make one variable df. Now I'll call pd dot read underscore csv. Inside this, I will pass my csv file name, which is titanic dot csv. Now let us look at the head of a data frame. It is df dot head. And here in the output, you will see this is our data frame and we have some columns such as ID, P class, name, gender, age, and so on. Let us also look at the shape of the data frame. So we have 891 rows and 12 columns. Now we will see the difference between the LOC and ILOC. So first we will look at the LOC. And now let's say I will call our data frame DF, then the method LOC. Then I'll make a bracket here. Now to get all the rows, we have to type colon. So I will type here colon and if I print it, so you will see I'm getting all the data frame. We have all the rows and all the columns. So whenever you want to get all the rows, you have to type colon. So this is the first argument and the second one is put comma and then the second is column. And as I've said that in LOC, you will see here, we have to write the column name. We cannot write the column number here. So let's say I want all the rows and I just want the column, which is, uh, let's say gender. So I'll pass here the column name, which is gender. And now here in the output, you see, we are getting all the rows for this column gender. So this is how this LOC works. Now, if instead of giving this name, if I pass the index number, then it will not work. I'll copy this from here and paste it here. So indexing in Python starts with zero and let us see the index number of this column gender. So it is zero, one, two, and three. Now, instead of writing gender, if I write three here, I should get an error. So I got an error here. And this error says that cannot do label indexing. And that is the reason when you are using this LOC method, you have to write the label, which is the column name, not the column index number. Now, instead of selecting this uh, one column, so here you will see we are selecting only one column. We can select multiple columns also. So I'll copy this from here, paste it here. And now to select multiple columns, we have to pass it inside a list. So I'll create a list here. And inside this, we can pass multiple column. Now let's say we will pass other column names, uh, which are ticket. And then one more column, let's say fair. So you will see here in this data frame, we have all these columns. So we have this ticket and then fair. And if I execute the code, so I got this data frame here. So we have this gender ticket and fair. And there is one more way. So let's say you want to get all the rows and columns starting from gender to fair. So I will write here. I'll just copy this from here and then I'll paste it here. And here I will remove this ticket and I'll put a call in here. And I'll also remove this one extra list from here and I'll print this. So here in the output, you will see we have all the rows and then columns starting from gender to fair. So this is also one way of indexing your columns. Now we will see ILOC. So what I will do, 
I'll copy this code from here and I'll paste it here and if I type here ILOC and if I try to execute the same code I should get an error and you will see here I'm getting an error location based indexing can only have this integer and integer slice so now instead of giving this column name I have to give the column index here so if I type here 3 which is the index number of this column as we have seen earlier 0 1 2 and 3 now I should get the output so here you will see in the output I got the results but if I do the same with the help of LOC I will get an error so I'll remove this I and I'll try to execute it I got an error I hope now it's clear that when we are using this LOC we have to use the column name and when we are using the ILOC we have to use the column number so this will work for LOC so I'll put it here so that you can see the difference so this is the difference in short for ILOC you have to use the column index number for LOC you have to give the column name and that's the only difference there and then we can uh, do all this remaining subset in with the help of L ILOC also so what we will do is we will write df dot ILOC then we want all the rows and let's say we want column 3 or 3 uh, not 3 to 3 this is from 3 to 6 so you will see we will get all the rows and columns starting with this index number 3 up to the index number 6 and we can similarly also put many more uh, so we can also create a list inside this so I will write here df.iloc I want all the rows and then I'll give a list here and in this I will tell all what all columns I want so let's say I want uh, here we have this column 0 1 2 0 2 and 3 I want ID name and gender and their index number is 0 2 and 3 so I will write here 0 2 and 3 so here in the output you can see I've got this uh, result here ID name and gender because their index number is 0 2 and 3 and similarly you can also if you want to get only few rows then you can pass here let's say I want to get rows from 0 to 5 so now I will get result for 5 rows only so here you can define as many rows you want if you want all the rows then you have to put the column call in here and there is one more difference between LOC and ILOC so in the output result you will always get one less row using ILOC so let's see that with an example let's say I will write here df dot LOC now I want all the rows and then I want uh, rows from 0 to 5 using this LOC so here in the output you will see we are getting 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 now I'll do the similar operation I'll copy this from here I'll paste it here now instead of LOC I will write here ILOC and if I execute the code so here in the output you will see we got one less results here so we have 0 1 2 3 and 4 but with the help of this LOC we got all these five rows so this is one of the difference between the LOC and ILOC so this video was about the difference between these two indexing method which is LOC and ILOC I hope uh, you have got the idea and now it's very clear that what is the difference between the two I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.